Whoa. And now Hennigan with his queen nine, all of a sudden it's shrunk up to oblivion. He's mucked his hand. He put in 250,000 there with his queen nine of diamonds. He's not happy about the way this hand was developed. Turn him up, please, gentlemen. And look at this hand. Let's look at Bigler's face. He's not going to like this. Gus has nine, this seven, flops top two pair. Chris has seven, floor has bottom two pair. He's got to catch a four to stay alive in this tournament. There's nothing Chris could do about this. He needs a four. A deuce comes off. He's dead to a two outer, or he's going to be our fifth place finisher. A six comes off. Gus wins the pot. Chris Bigler becomes our fifth place finisher. Chris Bigler comes off a fifth place finisher. Now, what's ironic there, Vince, is if either one of those players would have raised before the flop there, you know Bigler would have thrown that hand away. Chris wins $62,604. Gus Hansen retakes the lead. Nearly a million dollar pot. Bigler finishes oh, fifth well in this competition. There's no way he could have got away from that hand. Only disappointed, but he did nothing wrong. He knows he just played unlucky. He got trapped in a pot that he couldn't get away from. You know, sometimes there's just hands you can't get away from, Vince. I don't believe he could have got away from that hand. He's a great player, but it's going to be a long walk back to Switzerland. Bigler's conservative strategy took him to the final table. But today, the name of the game is aggressive play. We'll be right back. Hey. Doesn't matter when you play online at PartyPoker.com. It's fun, it's easy, it's the world's largest poker room. Welcome back. We are in the Bellagio in Las Vegas for the Five Diamond World Poker Classic. So Chris Bigler, a great tournament player from Switzerland, finishes in fifth position today and takes home over 62,000. That is definitely something to yodel about. <laughs> well, Gus Hansen, I'll take him a while to stack those chips up. Uh, he won a monster pot there. He's now the huge chip leader. He played that hand perfectly, got max results. We're down to the final four, and Hansen has knocked out both players that have been eliminated so far, Vince. Goes to show you have to have a little luck. Gus uh, hanging in there with a 9-7 offsuit, got a little luck, and is really getting paid off big time for it. Well, it was luck, but I like the position calls he makes there. He calls with those kind of hands on the button in case he gets a big flop, just like he did. Wins monster pots with him, and I give him credit for that. Here we go. Deeb is on the button. Hanson's the first to speak here, and he picks up a big hand. King, queen of clubs. First to speak. Let's see what he does. He comes in for 60,000, and Deeb folds, and Yuanda folds, and we're up to Hennigan. Not a big hand, but he's got an ace, and he calls with it. Well, the flop is deuce four seven. Now this gives Hennigan a belly buster straight draw. Hey, hey, Mike, come on. Now don't get tricky on us with your fancy <laughs> poker talk. What that means is he has one shot to catch that straight. That's right. He needs a three right in the belly to make his straight. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Gus has just checked. Next card off is an eight. This gives Hennigan a two-way straight. He can make a straight with a three or a six. And here he comes. He's firing Tom at the pot. 70, he bets 70,000. Wins the pot. And he picks up the pot. I think that's a very good bet by Hennigan there. What the hell was he that? He didn't give Hanson any more free cards to win that pot. He bet it on 4th Street. He picked up the pot. 128,000 he puts in a stack. Good play by John Hennigan. <laughs> John Hennigan likes to play it cool. He also plays it better than anyone else. John Hennigan is you know, probably one of the best poker players in the world right now. He's very sophisticated. He's like the most sophisticated player on the table. Hennigan reached the top of his profession by keeping things simple. Poker is a funny game. Weird things are going to happen. You can't really let that get the best of you. You just have to be better than the next guy. And by having what it takes to win. You just got a sense for people. You know, you have to study them and really pay attention to what they're doing. And if you think it's better to be lucky than good, the Philadelphia-born Hennigan wants to tell you something. You're wrong. 
It's hard for people to understand the game when they think it's all luck. You know, why would they think that somebody has to be smart to play a game that involves such a great degree of luck when it really doesn't? You could sit there and just outthink your opponent. I play poker mostly every day, so this is just another day. It's going to be a bit more exciting than most days, but I'll be ready, I guess. We're back at the World Poker Tour, down to four players. Mike, uh, what do you think of the flow of this game right now? Well, the flow of the game, as I see it, is John Hennigan is starting to become a force to really be reckoned with in this competition. He's come from the low stack to almost the chip leader. Uh, he's taken the play a little bit away from Gus, who had total command of the game until John Hennigan got a hold of these chips. Now, John seems to be what they call the table captain, as opposed to Gus, in my viewpoint. John Hennigan has picked up a 6-7 of hearts. He calls. Gus throws away a 10-7 on the button. Deeb called with a deuce four of diamonds. But keep in mind, there's about 60,000 out there. It cost him 10 more thousand to call. He's trying to see a free flop. Well, Johnny Yawanda has a king-10, different suits, but maybe he sensed a little weakness there. I go all in. John Yawanda's moving all in. Everybody else moves out. It's John's spot. And John Yawanda moves all in with this hand. So give John a lot of credit here. He saw him limping in. He wasn't going to give him a free flop where he could get beat. He's going to say, if you can beat this king high, good luck to you. Johnny Yawanda, the instincts of a champion. An excellent play by John Yawanda right there. The action's on Gus Hansen, our chip leader. And sure enough, he comes in for 70,000. Deep folds on the button, and John Yawanda, who just picked up that last pot out of the small blind here. Look at this, back to back. He's going back to back. Vance, he's all in again. About 250,000. And against fold, and it's up to Gus. Oh, he's playing fast. What's Gus going to do? Gus came in for 70,000. He was first to speak. Yuanda moved over the top, all in. Second consecutive hand, Yuanda's moved all in. It looks to me like he's starting to change gears, just like he has to do if he wants to get back in this competition. Gus folds. John wins again. And Gus folds. Yuanda wins back-to-back -back pots. And look at Gus's face. He's just not happy to lose any pots. Now he's starting to twitch a little bit. He doesn't like to lose that kind of hand. Just when he thought he had, he had all the momentum. Another great player. Makes a really strong raise. And uh, he has to throw his hand away. Okay, here's Deeb. He limps in first position for 20,000. Right. Up to Yuanda. I see him calls 20,000. John Yuanda raises. 70,000 more. He raises it 70,000 more. John Hennigan folds. 300. Gus says 300,000. He said 300,000. I see him fold. That's all of Yuanda's chips, and Yuanda quickly calls him. Okay, turn him up, John. So Johnny Yuanda is trying to make a stand. Here we go. We've got Yuanda all in against Hanson. Gus has ace queen, John has two fives. Pocket fives against ace queen. Off now we have the race situation. Let's see if Yuanda gets lucky and can double up here. Flop comes king, seven, eight. John Yuanda's got the lead in the pot. Turn cards a seven. Gus has picked up a lot of wins. He's very close to doubling up if he can dodge an ace or a queen. River cards a 10, John Yuanda wins the pot. A 10 comes at the river. The pair holds up, Yuanda sits back down in the seat. He's still alive in this competition. He's doubled up. That was a scary tongue cut there. <laughs> Look at Gus. Well, yeah. I mean, he said he thought for a second he's going to get to uh, get this thing down to three players. Disappointed. Ace queen. Pair of five holes up. Uh, there's nothing Gus can do there. I think he's got to play that hand, of course, with the ace queen. He didn't win the race. Uh, you wanted to got lucky to win the race to double up, but Gus can't feel bad about that play. That was the correct play. Flashy tournament veteran Scotty Wynn and the conservative but ultimately unlucky player Chris Bigler have busted out. 
Vegas poker pros John Hennigan and Kasim Deeb have been holding strong, whereas up-and-coming tournament phenom John Uwanda is building chips. Finally, relative newcomer Gus Hansen has lost some of his lead. Only one of them will walk away with the WPT title and over half a million dollars in cash. But in poker, anything can happen. We're back. Vince, we're down to four players now. It's crunch time. We're playing for the big bucks now. So uh, a player like Kasim, now he's really going to start playing pretty fast. Well, it's 40,000 a round to play virtually. Right. And that means you can't get through five rounds, you'll be broke. So he's yeah. going to have to play a hand somewhere in the next couple rounds, as is John Yuanda. Dave is the first to speak here. He comes in for 70,000. Yuanda folds. Hennigan folds. And Gus is in the big blind with a king-10 offsuit. How much money do you have? 171. Let's gamble. Hansen is raising him. I raise. 400. Gus says make it 400,000. Makes it 400,000, which means what he's doing is setting Deeb all in. I don't have 400,000. I, I mean, why don't you guys just raise what I got? Instead of making it 400, I might just call it. Hey, it's okay. What? All right, good hand. Kasim folds. He took this pot away from Deeb. He took it right away from him by playing back over the top. Oh, man, that hurts. That really hurts. Hanson's timing is impeccable. He makes these raises exactly the right time all day. It's like he's reading his mind. He's just saying, I know you're not that strong. I'm going to re-raise you and get you out. He forced Deeb to have a big hand there to put all his chips because if he calls and loses the pot, he's out of the tournament. Hanson knows that. He moved over the top to set him all in. Deeb folded his hand, and he had the best hand. We're down to the final four of the Five Diamond World Poker Classic here at the Bellagio in Las Vegas, Nevada. Yuanda will be first to speak. Yuanda folds. John Hennigan raises it to 70,000 on the button. Hennigan 